This place, it now seems to crush me every time I come here. I still can't stop thinking about the body. Did anyone find it? Shit! What are these guys doing there? This is suspicious. I'll just take a look. Someone threw out a whole frying pan. But, wait a minute. Ugh, it's bent. What was done to the frying pan that caused it to bend? Hi. How are you, Boris? I'm fine. And how are you? You haven't been to the workshop for a long time. Yeah, I was very busy at the office. Lots of blueprints, you know. You look pretty sad. Oh, what is that smell? Are you drunk? Why should I be happy? I'm sitting there freezing like a dog. How's it going with Olga? Haven't you tried to mend the relationship? No, I decided to take your advice and stop trying to get in over my head. I try not to think about her. It doesn't always work, especially with how often I see her at work. Even now, I can't help but notice her when she stands just a few meters away. Man, that's tough. I don't know what to tell you. Hey there. Hi, Alex. I see you're staying at work late, too. Yes, a lot of work has piled up lately. I'm trying to somehow distract myself from... from other problems. I understand perfectly. I'm in no hurry to go home. Nobody's waiting for me there. Yeah, um, how's your cat doing? <laughs> I don't have a cat, Alex. That's right. I, I must have mixed things up. <laughs> you definitely need a vacation. You got a nice handbag. Oh, the problem is the lock's broken. My ex-husband already fixed it once, but apparently he didn't do such a hot job. May I take a look? Sure, go ahead. Hey buddy, I'm glad to see you. Hey! We just saw each other at the office. Do you miss me already? <laughs> oh man, I wish I could tell you what kind of a real ass I've been, but I can't. Come on, lay it out. What happened? No, I can't. Better if you tell me, how's your little one been? Andre? He's great. Mary and I have everything ready for tomorrow's birthday party. We haven't organized such an event in those long time. I think I'm gonna get drunk. <laughs> By the way, I took your advice. I bought him a kite. I hope he likes it. What's up with Boris? He looks bad. We did something. A little something. About 30 kilograms. We made some money and decided to celebrate a little. We drank quite a bit, but Boris was already unhinged. Hey, why are you telling everyone about it? Calm down, Alex is our man. 
I'm fine. Just a little upset. And you know what, guys? I'm going to go up to her right now and tell her everything. Whoa, whoa, calm down, man. You don't have to do anything. Just hang tight until the bus arrives, okay? Hi, what are you guys doing here? This Einstein figured out how to defrost the hatch, but something went wrong. <laughs> you can laugh, old man, but without me, you wouldn't be able to open up that manhole. At least I have some clue how to do it. And what exactly is the problem? We need to repair a sewer nearby but the hatch has frozen over really badly. Been using a crowbar to dig it out for the past hour. The old man couldn't come up with anything better. Hey, smart ass. From where I'm standing, your brilliant idea has gotten us nowhere. Shut up. I'm gonna light a fire on the hatch now, and it will melt. It's simple. I just need to get this stupid lighter to work. It seems dead. Do you have a light? No, sorry. I don't smoke. Hey, old man. Go to the people at the bus stop. Maybe someone there is a light. Don't worry. I'll find out. Thanks, man. The hatch is barely visible under a thick layer of ice. Nature will protect my secret for a while. If they find the body, I'm screwed. I need to get rid of any matches or lighters that anyone else has. Dirty boxes. Inside our devices unknown to me. A toolbox. I'm sure there is something here that will come in handy. Yeah, a crowbar. Lots of hoses. Or are they hoses? Uh, I don't know. Do you have any matches? Yes, I do. But you won't get any. Come on, Boris. Don't be an ass. I only have a few left. I need them. Oh, crap. Do you have a lighter? No, I don't. I used to smoke. I liked a guy. He often went out for a smoke. I wanted him to like me. Then he became my second husband. When we got divorced, I stopped smoking. How many husbands have you had? Three. Actually, four. Yes, I was married four times. For some reason, I just haven't had any luck. I don't know, maybe I'm cursed. Maybe you've been looking for the wrong person. I, or, or you just have been in such a hurry to get married and haven't had enough time to really get to know the person. Listen, you don't need to school me. I have a lot of experience in this matter. I also happen to know many women who are also just plain unlucky. For example, Lucy from a grocery store. She'd been in a relationship with a man for five years and then he left her. And if she had gotten married right away and had a baby, he wouldn't have left. 
or Nadia, you know her. Sorry, I, I understand what you're saying. I just, I still got some things to do. We'll talk later, okay? Hey, do you have a lighter? Sorry, Alex. No, I haven't. Oh, damn it. I'm so nervous. I, I don't know what to do. Alex, will you tell me what happened already? This is the first time I've ever seen you like this. Is it something serious? Okay, let's give ourselves a little distance. Damn it! Please, tell me you're kidding. Oh my god. And the body is still in the manhole? Wait, wait. I need to wrap my head around this, okay? Honestly, I was a little scared, but you can be sure that I will not betray you. Mark, I don't know what to do. They will open the hatch and find the body at any moment. Look, you didn't leave any trace. Nobody can tie you to this murder, right? But a girl... The last time we parted it wasn't on very good terms, but the words in her diary gave me hope that she won't tell anyone. Damn it. Mark, I, I didn't sleep for several days in a row. You need to calm down. I've known you for many years and you are not a killer. This was an unfortunate incident. Everything will be okay, alright? These workers... I can't let them find the body now. Better that this incident continues to not attract the attention of the police. You always think of something. I'm sure you can do it this time too. To come up with something, I need something to work with. Something, I... I do you have anything? I don't know if this will help you, but I do have a rasp. Just don't ask why and where I got it. Any progress? Same shit. The lighter doesn't work. Oh, my back hurts. I'm freezing already. Let's get out of here. Keep your pants on, man. Just a few more tries. Oh, by the way, did you ask the people nearby about having a light? Yes. Unfortunately, without success. Crap. How is that even possible? Is there seriously no one with a single match? Maybe you didn't ask right. I'll have to go and ask myself. Slow down, buddy. I'll try again. Broke off the handle of the pan. It has a sharp end to it. The handle is now extremely sharpened like a knife. The latch doesn't fasten. To understand why, I'll have to look inside. The latch cover is attached with small screws.
Looks like someone fixed the mechanism with a match, but now it's broken and useless. Listen, can I ask you something? Hmm. Well, ask. I need some matches. Only Boris has them. He's not giving them to me. <laughs> Step of ass. Well, that's just how he is. I just thought, could you ask him for matches? He's nice to you. He wouldn't say no. Are you crazy? I don't even want to get anywhere near him. He's drunk, don't you see? Please, I, I really need them. Alex, I won't do it. Don't even try to convince me. Hey, I have good news and bad news. The good news is that I know how to fix the latch of a bag with a match. The bad news is that only Boris has matches. <laughs> Are you kidding me? I won't ask Boris for anything. You've already annoyed me about the damn matches. Pity. You could have your handbag repaired right now. Oh, hell. Hey, Boris. I heard you have matches. Can you give me some? I really need them now. Um, please? Oh, um, Olga, I, uh, um, what? Matches. Oh, yeah. Sure. Take them. Thanks. Here you go. Done. Oh, Alex, how wonderful. Thank you. You know, I was thinking about throwing the bag away. This time, I was able to prevent the body from being discovered. But sooner or later, it will happen. Alex? Yes, dear? Is everything all right? Yeah, everything's fine. Why do you ask? You've been acting a bit strange lately. We don't talk much. You're constantly preoccupied about something. I'm worried that something's happened. Oh, sweetie, uh, I'm sorry. I, I'm just worried about my job, uh, about my salary. You know how difficult our situation is right now. I'm sorry that I'm, well, that I've been sad and gloomy lately. I'll try not to let my mood affect you. I'm very, I think, oh, please tell me, are you seeing someone else? God, what kind of nonsense are you talking about? I know there's an unmarried woman in your office. Rumor has it that she is very cunning. Julia, don't be ridiculous. I, I would never... You know that you and Annie are all that matters to me. Please, come on, don't doubt me. Everything I do, I do for our family. Without your support, I couldn't bear it all. Maybe later, when everything is back to normal, I will tell you everything. I'm sorry, Alex, for God's sake. I don't know what came over me. It just all consumed me all at once. I was just scared. Scared that I would lose you. I really do love you. I love you too, honey. Ugh, 
who could it be? Hello? I'm listening. Hello. This is Christina's mother speaking. I, I, I think you have the wrong number. I know everything. So listen to me carefully and don't hang up. What do you want? Money? Don't worry, I'm not going to blackmail you. Christina spoke very highly of you. She told me you saved her from the hooligans. I assume that Christina told you about our situation. Her father spent seven years in prison, and he blames us for everything. He promised to kill me and Christina. Now that he's been released, I... I'm scared for our lives. Nobody can protect us. The local police will only be interested in our situation when a dead body appears, so... I have no choice but to ask you. Wait a minute, I don't understand. Uh, what exactly do you want me to do? He's coming tomorrow. I already received threatening messages from him. Please, come and protect us. I'm afraid he'll hurt Christina. We don't have anyone else we can depend on anymore. I I'm sorry, but I, I can't. I can't risk... Listen, if something were to happen to me... My daughter... In that case, I will report the incident at the bus stop to the police. I'll head over to the police station right now. All right, all right, I'll come. What's the address? I am sorry to involve you in all this, but I have no choice. I hope you understand. Hey, buddy! I knew you'd come to the party after all. Mark, I'm in deep shit. Whoa, whoa, what happened? The girl, Christina. She told her mother everything. Oh shit, and what? Does she want money for her silence? Worse, she wants me to protect them tomorrow from the criminal father who just got out of prison. Oh my god, this is madness. What are you going to do? I had to agree. Oh, shit. He could be armed. He... He could have a knife, he could have a gun, I don't know, but... I'm afraid I can't do it by myself. Mark, I will need your help. Please. Of course, Alex, you can count on me. But I don't know what state I'll be in tomorrow after the party. You know? Mark, thank you, thank you, thank you so much, man. in place. Where's Mark? It's weird. He always keeps his promises. Maybe he fell asleep? This is my scarf. Here's a note. Alex, I'm sorry I didn't keep my word, but I had to. I know that you will understand and come to our aid. In case something happens before you come, I had the keys to our apartment here. To prevent someone else from finding the keys, I'm not going to mention where exactly I hid them. I'm sure you can guess. children's sandbox. <laughs> now, of course, there is nothing here except snow. There is not a lot of fun going on on this playground. It's as dreary as the house itself. There 
is a lot of trash here in the yard. The key could be hidden anywhere. Do I have to dig through all this shit now? A power distribution board or something. The metal cover is barely holding on. It can be removed with a tool. Nope, there's nothing under the car. The house looks gloomy, but to be honest, the side of the house is no better. Someone's things. Did a homeless person spend the night here? Blood? Crap, maybe I should leave. I have a bad feeling. A leaky bucket full of trash. Although something may prove useful to me. I don't know what it is, but it's pretty sticky. Even the can was glued to the table. Several announcements. One of them mentions that one of the residents died recently. This goes to the basement. For some reason, I have no desire to go down there. A message from the plumber. He asks not to touch any valves in the basement since the broken pipe has not yet been repaired. Sacks of some kind of grain, made from a very dense material. You can't open it with your hands. A familiar thing. Nothing useful inside. There are only a few words in this note. We'll find clues in the drawer. A mirror, hook, and a magnet. Hmm. Are these things clues? I don't hear anyone. This is strange. There's nothing inside to touch, at least that's how it seems, but I'm really not sure. There's absolutely nothing inside, but on the other hand, now I can put something on this metal sheet. The snow is melted, the 
Pasta cup is now full of water. The plastic bottle can be seen inside this pipe. Ugh, the pipe is too narrow. My hand can't get through. The snow has melted. The plastic cup is now full of water. There's a small gear inside the bottle. This sack has a sewn up gap. It looks like it was done recently. What now? I don't think Christina hid the little thing too deep inside, but it'll be hard to find it among the grain anyway. It's like looking for a needle in a haystack. Got it. This is it. The key to the apartment. Oh my god! Fuck shit, fuck! <sighs> what hell with all this? I need to get out of this place, now! It'll be morning soon. So far, no one is visible in the streets. It's all covered in blood. I'd better not go there. I don't want to leave any traces. God, it's Christina. She's in the basement. Seven years I spent in prison. And for what? For taking care of you. No. Dad, please. You sent me there like a dog. You bastards. 
She thought I was a crazy drug addict. Do you think so too? No. I saw how you looked at me when the cops took me away. You were happy. I saw your face. You were having fun with your slut mum. That's him. He has a knife. He is a murderer. Shit! He could kill me without batting an eye. Oh god, what should I do? Poor Christina. No, no, I, I can't save her. I can't. He will kill me. I have to take care of my family. If he kills Christina, there will be no more witnesses to my crime. Nobody will know it was me. I shouldn't be here. I have to take care of my family. There's a note on this valve. Do not touch. I think using this valve, I can blow out the pipe from here. For seven years I dreamed about this day. The day when you will pay for Everything that I have to go through! Metal plate is bolted to the column. I don't know why it's here. It's made of polished metal. Its surface is as smooth as glass. What did she tell you? That your dad was bad? Abnormal? A loser? An addict? She herself is not capable of anything. I did everything I could for our family, and you both betrayed me! There's a leaking pipe here. Someone tried to fix it, but apparently not very successfully. Using the valve, I can blow out the pipe while hiding behind the column. I just have to somehow get him to come closer to the pipe. Someone pulled out the suitcases, but they got stuck. Oh, it seems forever. Even I can't get them out. There may be something important inside the suitcase. Everything is scattered on the pantry floor. Someone was in a hurry to grab things. Things have been scattered about carelessly. Someone was clearly looking for something. Funny. Various books, random stuff, and 
part of a photo? There are a lot of little things inside. There seems to be nothing useful. Anyway, I can't see clearly. It's too dark in there. Oh yeah, these fragile switches always break. It's good that there are always pillows in the house. Copper wire. Helps when a conventional antenna is not enough. I've already seen this bear somewhere. This is exactly what I need. Photo albums. This is interesting. Here are photos of Christina and her mother. I cannot find a single photograph of her father. There is also a fragment of an old photograph. Some kind of souvenir? I don't know. A suction cup with a hook. There was also a memento hanging here, but it was lost somewhere. As a side note, the suction cup is pretty securely attached to the glass. Um, actually... Hmm, interestingly, the suction cup with the load falls with a delay of several seconds. photo of Christina with her mother. I saw one like this in the safe place. Photo of Christina's mother. Nice woman. Here she looks younger than... Uh. It will not help to pull out the suitcases, except perhaps to open one of them. But a sharper instrument is needed. There's a letter inside. Hello, Natalia. I'm fine. Blah, blah. Hmm. A letter from some friend, I guess. It was very regrettable to learn that your neighbor from apartment number four died. Mr. Ivan Koch was a good man. I'll bet a bit essential. He didn't trust anyone. He did not even keep valuable things in his apartment. He hid them somewhere on the landing. If you find some kind of hiding place, you should know it's most likely his. An absolutely empty nightstand. <laughs> Just a few planks stuck together with nails. Nothing interesting here.
apartment number four. Well, Mr. Koch, I doubt that you would hide your valuables far from your apartment. The top of this nightstand is too thick. Let's have a look. This is Koch's treasure. <laughs> Incredible. Several silver spoons and a can opener. Let's try, why not? It's all covered in blood. I'd better not go there. I don't want to leave any traces. An old photo of a happy family. Parents are holding on to their little girl. This is probably Christina. I think she is about three in this picture. In prison, I tried to kill myself. But then, I wanted revenge. That desire! gave me the strength to survive all these years, and now I'm here to do what I want! What was that? Christina, run! And you are her new daddy, right? Take this bitch! Uh, no! than I expected. Oh, God. What should I do? I don't know. Please hold on. The ambulance will be here soon. God, how could it all lead to this? I'm just an ordinary person. I had to go to work every day and spend time with my family in the evening. I shouldn't have died in some fucking basement. Oh my god. I'm gonna die. No, 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 no. Oh, Julia. How will you survive without me? My daughter. My little girl.
It is your fault. I asked you not to tell anyone about this, and you spilled everything to your mother. I did everything you asked. Are you happy now? Why did I come here, idiot?